disputing that charge for okay. Cash App. Okay. So I'm just waiting for my system to load the dispute system. Being a little slow, so we're going to say did not do business. And was it just this Cash App or were there other charges well, that we need to Well, that's the thing. The, the Cash App's under Laura Fox for the 150 and the 110 or the $10. I don't have a cash app. I don't even know what cash app is. I don't even know how it works. I don't know what it is. So I did not set that up. Okay. Now, the Krista pitch, that one, I'm not going to dispute because that was a misunderstanding. And so what might have happened is this Andy character might have set it up, but I have a suspicion my husband did it because my husband has me under surveillance. He knows my every move. So this could be his shenanigans to set me and Ashley against each other. And he does do that. And I trust Ashley, but right now I'm kind of like, I don't know who I can trust. My money's disappearing. Mm -hmm. My hard-earned money right. that I served 20 years in the Army for. Yeah, we need to get these disputed. So, so far I've got the two cash app for Laura Fox, one for 150 and one for $10. Correct. Are there any others that we need no, to add? No, those are the only two I'm disputing. Only two. Okay. So we're going to handle the dispute. We're going to do that part first. Uh, what we're going to do is get a new card out to you. Um, we're going to mark it as fraud. Okay. You do not have a Cash App account. Correct. And then uh, get a new card out to you, and then we'll take the next step, okay? And if my husband did do that, is that a felony charge? I'm not 100% sure, quite okay. honestly. All right. Well, he's collecting. Uh, he's up to like 13 or 14. I've lost track. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm not really sure. You might want to talk to the, the police. They could tell you Oh, no. He's got cousins there. in law enforcement, so I can't get any help from the police. That's why I'm collecting video evidence for when I take it to federal court. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. That's where we're at. And... Okay, so it was done on this card ending in 8186, so apparently that's linked to Cash App somehow. Uh, well, and that's the thing. Yes. Ashley probably linked it to Cash App to do the payment to Christina or Pitch. Right, the one that was valid. Right, but this one says Laura Fox. I don't have one. I don't have a Cash App. Right, right. And I don't even know anything about how to set that up. Mm, okay. So. And I don't I can't now, learn because I use PayPal and you guys. Like, I don't need Cash App. I have right. USAA. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. Now, my next question is Do you know who may have made these unauthorized transactions? If you'd like, if you have the name of the person that you think did it, we can put that in there, but that's up okay. to you. I suspect Gerald Lee Brown. Okay. Or Gerald with a G or a J? G. G E R A L D. Lee Brown. Correct. Okay. That way they'll they'll look into it for and you. Here's the, the thing. Bank will actually um, look into it for you. Ashley Godfrey has been with me since September nineteenth, and she's had access to the card, but she has never stolen from me in the past. So I, I don't suspect that she did this. And I did give her permission on the Krista pitch. Right. So I don't know who okay. created the Laura Fox. Right. That's and I hope I'm not being thought. naive by trusting people. Because with my past, I can't even trust my own mother. So I could be being naive, but I don't believe Ashley did this. Okay. Okay. So uh, there are a couple of things I need to go over with you here, okay? Okay. So the first thing is, in order to protect you and USAA from further unauthorized charges, the card associated with the selected transactions will be canceled and a new debit card will be issued. Okay. Can you verify the address to send this new card to? Yeah, it's the 118 South Otsego in Gaylord, Michigan, of 49735. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. And once you receive your card, you will be able to set up your PIN when you activate your card. Okay. You can activate your card using USAA.com, your USAA mobile app, or by calling the number listed on the card activation sticker. 
And then I'm just going to go over things here. So we are filing a fraud claim for two charges that say Cash App Laura Fox because you do not have an account. Correct. Uh, one is for 150. The other one is for 10. They're both on the 26th from your card ending in 8186. You do have the card. Yes. You believe that the that Gerald Lee Brown could be the one that made this these charges. Yes. We are sending the new card to 118 South uh, Cijo uh, Avenue. Yeah, it's o- Ford, Michigan. Yeah, O T S E G O. I know I'm saying it wrong. Uh, it took me like six months. <laughs> it's Ot Cijo. <laughs> I guess it's a Native American. Ot Cijo. Yeah. Yeah, it must be. It sounds yeah. like a Native American name. Yeah. I, everyone struggles with it. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I'm horrible with names anyway, so that one really threw me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and that's in Gaylord, Michigan, 49735. That's correct. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. So next thing here is can you verify a good contact phone number and email for me, please? Um, so... The phone number, um, shoot. Okay, it's uh, 989-448-2280. And my email is silverfoxy at gmail.com. Okay, thank you very much. And you acknowledge I've reviewed the information above, and the charges listed were not authorized by you or anyone else allowed to use your account. Correct. That's correct. Okay, thank you very much. And the next step I do have for you here is in order to proceed, I must play for you a pre-recorded disclosure statement. So the next voice you hear will be the recording, and I will return once it's complete, okay? Yep. Thank you so much. USAA will accept your dispute and initiate your investigation immediately. As a consumer, you have the right to dispute without first contacting the merchant. Okay, give me just a moment here. Now, I do want to check and make sure that the system generated a new card for you here. And, okay. We're going to get that submitted. And then, do you know the time frame? Because my husband steals my mail, so I have to watch it. Yeah, I have to watch. Pay attention to it. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm about to go over that here. Okay, great. So, we are... (laughs) Sending the new card out uh, via expedited mail, which is FedEx. So it won't go in the mailbox, so they'll drop it off to you. Uh, Now, the new debit card will arrive in two to three business days of expedited delivery. Okay, Or within seven to ten business days of regular mail. Okay. All future charges on the canceled card will be declined. Okay. If there is an automatic payment using the debit card, provide the merchants with a new debit card to ensure continued payments. Okay. USAA will provide a status update within 10 business days. If we are unable to resolve your dispute within 10 business days, we may issue provisional credit while we conduct our investigation. USAA will contact you via phone, email, or letter if additional information is needed. The dispute investigation may take up to 45 to 90 calendar days, and pending authorizations must post to the account before appropriate adjustments will be applied. So we've got the dispute filed, and let me double check and make sure it did get that card generated. Okay. For you. So you should see it in two to three business days. Okay, perfect. And it's going to be FedEx and Today, Thursday, Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, maybe Wednesday. Maybe. I can't promise it. Is Never that, know um, with, uh, with the mail. Funny, that's the day I need it. <laughs> <laughs> that's payday. Uh, it, it did actually generate it. Okay. So... That's set to go out to you, expedited delivery. Perfect. Okay, so now we need to tackle the next step. Yeah, um, the auto insurance. So if somebody, um, that will that will take care of the debit card, so they won't have your debit card information anymore. Correct. Uh, and you said those were the only two that you noticed in there, so. Yeah, because, um, I don't know, some, intuitively, because I have to pay, okay, my truck was stolen, but my insurance bills do. My truck's been gone since November 18th, and I'm kind of like, well, I'm not going to pay this if you're not returning my truck or fixing my truck. Right, exactly. So I was checking uh, my I balance, yeah. 
to make sure I can pay my insurance. And every time I check my balance, it's going backwards. But I haven't left my house since the third. So I'm like, wait a minute. So I look, and some of it's legitimate. Oh, and I was going to order food for myself because I'm starving and can't leave the building. So now I can't order food. I can't pay my insurance. And I don't know how I'm going to pay this attorney next week. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see here. Uh, give me just a moment. Okay. So let's go ahead. I'm just checking your authentication log to see... Um, you know, for your online access? Yeah. Um, uh, I see the last time anybody was on it was through the mobile app. Right, and I tried, like, um, so what? that should be my iPhone. I don't know if it shows you that. Yeah, it shows me. The iPhone? Yep. That's me. Yep, okay, that is you, the iPhone app. Yeah, and then I did try, because uh, my friend loaned me a cell phone. I tried from that, but it wanted verification, and then when I went to get the email... Right, and it wouldn't do it because well, it, the number wasn't in there. Right, right. So then right. I just went, and oh. then I logged in on my iPhone, and that's when I noticed, because I should have had, like, 619 in there, and I have under mm -hmm. 5. So now there's, like, yeah, 4 bills. That. I don't know how I'm going to pay. Yeah. Right. Well, I mean, because of this, I got to figure out who's not getting paid, basically. Right. You got to make. I've been there before. Yeah, but I shouldn't be because I know how to budget my money. And this is right. somebody stole this from me. And that just that's the worst thing. Lying and cheating me is like I don't tolerate it. Right. Understandable. That's for sure. Uh, before the iPhone app, I see where. Uh. It shows a login to USAA.com, meaning on a computer. And um, that was at 8.20 a.m. Today? Today. No, I don't believe I did that. So you didn't do that. Okay. No. That's where we need to... Sounds like somebody may have access to your online access. Well, and That's now the, com doing that. the computer in my building... Now, the iPhone is set. You have to know my PIN. Um, I'm just going to see if I can find it in my history, which I'm not really good at that. Uh, all right, well, I'm going to just see if it logs on because my computer is just sitting here, but I didn't see anybody on my computer. And at yeah. 8, at 820, I wasn't on it because I would have saw my balance at 820. Right. Um, yeah, you can get on it from this computer. Just click, click. Well, they can, um, I mean, if somebody wants to get on it at another computer, if they have your login information, they can do it. Well, my husband That's did, but I changed everything. But that doesn't mean anything. That's what I'm saying. I'm under constant surveillance, so my husband could have my login. Um, does it tell you, like, the okay. location of the computer? Yeah, it doesn't give me that. Uh, it gives me a, a, a verification number, but it doesn't really say where that is located. Yeah, because the only computer here is an IP address, but that. Yeah, well, the only computer here, I haven't seen coming. anybody on it. At 820, I, I was up and around. No one was on this computer at 820. Okay. So it sounds like somebody may have gotten a hold of your credentials somehow. Well, my husband, that's what I'm saying, he knows my every move. I don't know how. And he <laughs> sets up fake Facebook accounts in... Uh, really? He, yeah, he has sabotaged me in every way. And no one to do anything about it. Okay, so with this, it sounds like what we need to do is we do need to change your credentials again. Yeah. Just to be safe. Yeah, because I can't, oh. I don't, that's what I was looking at on here, just in case it is somebody I live with, which I don't believe it is, but I do let, you know, I take in strays that I meet in jail and shelters and <laughs> I, I take in injured mm -hmm. people, so I can't be as trusting as I am, apparently. Right, yeah, but, somebody got in, got in. Well, and that's the thing, my husband. on at 20 this morning. My husband would do that and try to make it look like it was Ashley. 
he would do yeah. that. That's his character. Okay. So, what, um, do you have access to, uh, USAA.com or your mobile yeah, I'm app right, right here. now? Yep, on the mobile and on the computer. You're good. Okay. So you can do it with either one. It doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, whichever you prefer to use, you can use. If you're going to use the mobile app, when you go on to it, you click log on. Okay, I'm going to do the computer because I need to change it on the computer. computer. Okay. Okay. So you go to USAA.com. Okay, and do I log in? Yes. Okay. You'll go ahead and log in. Okay. 